guys so i don't know where this is going to be in the vlog because i've literally just ended my august vlog and i haven't started my september vlog but i just wanted to have a wee shout out to this company that i bought um a collar from lola so it's called um all four paws boutique and she's on instagram and facebook at all four paws boutique and her website is www.allfourpawsboutique.com oh i'm not sure if it's .com or .co.uk because it's kind of faded away but let me just show you what i got so i ordered this stunning collar with lola's name on it hot pink and it's absolutely stunning and there was a little bit of a delay with the posting due to her local post office people um coming down with covid so she couldn't get it back. she's given us these absolutely gorgeous little key tags complimentary and on the back it's got our um, address and phone number so i think that's absolutely gorgeous thank you so much i'm really really delighted with the product it was so worth the wait and this is such nice quality i can't wait to pop it on lola so i forgot to take an after directly after my nails so here is a two week later after <laughs> Hey, so just a little vlog update. My voice might sound super weird. Um, I feel like I've got like, I don't have tonsils, but if I had tonsils, I would definitely have tonsils right now. And my throat's so sticky and gross. Um, and obviously, if you watched my last vlog, you would have seen that we're in a nightclub for the first time since COVID and all that stuff. Um, so I was super paranoid. I had picked something up there um even though like my friends were okay but i was still paranoid anyway um so i went and got a proper test um and it came back negative which after i went and got it i was like well obviously it's going to because i don't have any covid symptoms i've just like got a, a funny voice and a bit of a dry throat so yeah i went and got a covid test um it wasn't very nice but it was fine the results came back literally within 24 hours which was good so yeah now i've just got a funny voice and i just get worried over nothing sometimes but it's better to be safe than sorry so yeah that's my vlog update just got an email saying my sheen clothes because i ordered some stuff from sheen which i will be doing a haul on it's been shipped but when i looked at it only one thing out of the like 12 or 13 things have been shipped so that haul might be um coming in a while <laughs> well it'll probably be up before this vlog will be as this is also my september vlog <clears throat> so i think i've said in previous vlogs that i'm watching Grey's anatomy i'm on episode season six episode 23 and if you haven't got to it yet my heart rate went to 110, that's all I'm saying. I literally, I've been like shaking, I'm, I'm a mess. Lola's literally like come and bozier into me because I've just been like, I'm a mess. Prepare yourself, is all I'm saying. Episode 24. Can't stop crying. I can't stop crying. Oh, what a morning. I've been so busy and I'm so hot. I've taken Declan away to meet his friends because they're going car racing or something today then i came back went to us i got shopping got so much stuff went for some bed and i was just so hot now i'm going to get changed because i'm meeting my friend for a w with this little one so i'm going to get changed and i'll catch up with you later just gonna be a quiet weekend i think okay so i'm back from our that was so dude why did i take a sip i'm back from our walk I'm so tired, like so tired. I'm literally having last night's noodles. Then I'm going to have a shower, take off this like minimal makeup, and then I'm gonna chill all afternoon. It's only it's five thirty, so yeah, I can't wait to like have a nice tea. I'm gonna have pasta, and I'm gonna chill all night. Can't wait. Hello. So vlog update. Just having a drink for a begin. I think I'll sit that there. Yeah, that's better. So I'm currently at Asda. I haven't updated the vlog in a while because I mentioned at the start of it in earlier clips that I've been really sick. Um, 
I can't remember exactly what I said, so I'm just going to recap. I had like cold and flu symptoms and I was really proud of that I had COVID. So I went and got a PCR test. It came back negative, which was good. Still feeling like so bad, like a sore, like dry, kind of tickly throat, running nose. Like at one point I had a sore head and she felt so, so, so tired. So kind of like a week, a week and a half. No, probably like almost, yeah, a week and a half of September, I was written off. Like I was so, I just like didn't do anything. Didn't leave the house, didn't go to the gym, didn't do anything. This is a week and four days later. <coughs> and I'm finally like feeling pretty much normal again. I informed the doctor. They give me antibiotics for um, a ear infection, urine infection, and a bacterial infection, even though I had the cold. So that was not helpful. Um, I went to like Alistair and got like cold and flu tablets and then um, that made me feel a little bit better then I got night nurse like the liquid one and I had that last night and I had like a nine and a half hour sleep and it was absolutely unreal and I feel like pretty much brand new again today so that's so good I'm relieved because I've got um, Revolution Bingo this Saturday and then Prosecco Day next Saturday and I'm also as of four o'clock tomorrow on holiday for a week Um. I am currently outside Asda because I got a huge Sheen order, Sheen, Sheen, whatever, uh, arrived today and the stuff that I was hoping to wear at the weekend is a no. Um, I will do a video, a haul on that stuff. So I went to Tesco to see if they had any nice tops because Tesco clothes was actually pretty decent, but they didn't. They had a blazer that I like that I might go back for, I haven't decided yet. Um, I went down the seasonal aisle hoping that they'd have Halloween stuff, but no, they had no Halloween stuff, but they had Christmas stuff, which is buzzing, but like, come on with the Halloween stuff, it's mid-February, mid mid-September now, so yeah, I'm just going to go to Asda because they've got misguided stuff and I'm um, in the style stuff now and I haven't had a look at it, um, and if that fails, I'm going to go to New Look, which I don't really like, but never knock it, you never know, you might find something good in there so that's what i'm gonna do if not I'm wearing something i've already got <laughs> catch up with later why is that so nice okay so there is cute stuff but i'm not really finding anything that i want like i do like this but i don't really think like i'd be settling i think so it's Friday, me and Lola have just been for a walk around the psychopath and since it's Friday and we're on holiday after today, we're at McDonald's getting a McDonald's for lunch obviously, but like it's so busy, I don't know what's going on, but I'm in a park and survey so good tip. Hello, so wow I look glowy, it is Saturday and I've just done some skincare and some body care and I'm just way too white on my teeth with um the same stuff. I don't know if you remember like in one of my vlogs last year I got my teeth whitened um with like a machine thing and I bought like the home kit so I'm gonna go ahead and use that do a bit of editing and then it's gonna be tattoo time. Okay hair is done it is in curls kind of haven't done this in ages and I'm a bit rusty so makeup time now makeup done hair probably ready to come down and i'm ready an hour and a half too early <laughs> okay this is a terrible angle but i'm trying on so many different tops i feel like they're all too booby but anyway i'm gonna brush out my hair hopefully it looks okay or else that'll be another thing to stress about what it does actually <laughs> Fuck off. I'm totally right now. <laughs> We're going for the tattoo now. I'm so nervous. We've got their boots 
Monday the bingo was amazing like so good like it was just yeah it was really 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 good I was sick all during the night <laughs> um as usual Foggy's bar was so cool as well I would definitely go back there and my tattoo was completely fine let me see if I can I don't know if you can see that if not I'll put it in a photo um, yeah, it wasn't sort in the slightest. I feel so stupid for being worried about it because it, like I say, it wasn't even sore. I was like gonna deck my hands so much. I definitely, I like ripped his skin. Um, but yeah, it was over literally within like not even five minutes. So yeah, I'm so glad I got it really, really chuffed with it. And now it's Monday, first of my holidays. I just chilled this morning. Now I'm at the gym. I'm going to spin. Um, and then the plan is to go back, clean the house and take all to the beach but in which order i am not sure so we're at the beach and there's a bloody german sausage van like hat thing i'm definitely gonna go there after but i bloody love sausages um but yeah we're at rosile which is one of our fave beaches so you go over here and then we're literally at the beach and it's such a nice view i'll show you Wow, so pretty. Oh my god, so I got like a full on proper like German sausage from that van. And I've got a sandy girl. I hope this is good. Okay, so I'm going to bake this lemon Viennese biscuits. If you didn't know, um, I got this from Dyson's mum and set up for Christmas. It's a subscription. It's called the Baking Club, and every month, and um, she got me a six-month subscription. They send you something to bake. You don't know what it is, and they give you like all this kind of dry ingredients, and it tells you like what you will need to go and get. It. So I needed butter, lemon, and an egg. So I just went and got lemon. So let's give it a go. Here's the current situation. They are ready to go in the oven. Done a little bit of washing up. And the oven is just heating up. Looks like they've came out pretty good. I'm just away. Well, I'm actually in the middle of making the ice and sugar spread stuff. Step seven as we speak. So I'm currently making lunch. We're making tomato and basil chicken. And got some rice in the microwave ready to go. I think it looks okay for the first attempt. Okay, update. It was rubbish, so I went and got curly fries and a cheese panini from the nook. <laughs> okay, morning vlog. I'm literally just awake. Um putting on some makeup, I'm using MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base Lumiere as usual. And I used two pumps of that and I really like the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow as well but I find it dries my skin a little bit but it makes my makeup last for ages so I just put like a little thingy of on top and then like shiggle, shiggle, mix, <laughs> mix it into my fingers and then put it on my face 
Um, the Charlotte Tilbury one's got like a bit of a glow in it as well, which I normally don't like because I don't really like highlighter on me because I'm oily and I produce my very own unique <laughs> highlighter. Um, but mixed in with a MAC, I find it works like good for me. Um, I meet my friend Beth and going to breakfast. We're going to the Batchin Street ca coffee shop, cafe, something. Um, it's been there for ages. It's opposite the sunbeds. I see it like literally every day. Um, but I've never been and I've seen people going there a lot recently and I think she's been before. So that is where we're going. And then I'm going to Inverness with my mum and dad because they are finally back from their road trip. Um, I was going to go with them. Well, not on the actual like road trip part because they were going to... So they left here, they went to Glasgow, York, no, that's wrong, Glasgow, Chester, Brighton, York, and then Edinburgh, um, since like we can't get away to our holiday, um, because Turkey is still, I think, on the red list, which is gutting because we my mum was really, really, really hoping we would get to Turkey in September, but no joy. Um, but yeah, I get really, really, really bad um, car sickness, which you may... I don't know if I've said that before, but I do. And I literally... And it's so unpredictable as well. Sometimes I'm okay, but most of the time I'm not. And I literally have to like sit with a water bottle, my head facing forward. I like not go on my phone the whole time. So obviously all that driving was a huge no. But I was going to go down and um, fly down to Gatwick and spend some time with them in Brighton because it's only like either 40 miles or 40 minutes or something. I can't actually remember. Um, But just with COVID and all that, we were like, what if anything happens for, I don't know, like, I don't know. We were just like, it's a bit risky. Um, us coming from like different places and like me going on a flight what is them driving and if anything happened and then they couldn't come and pick me up or just we just were like no like we'll just leave it and um, which I'm so glad we did because um, their holiday was primarily <coughs> last week and I was ill that was when I was super ill so I would have ruined it for them and I don't think they would have probably let me on the plane with how much coughing I was doing last week um so yeah they just got back yesterday um so we're going to Inverness because they want a new sofa um I think they've picked it but they just need to go and order it or they've seen it online and want to try it I'm not exactly sure but um in one of my other vlogs I think I mentioned. Oh, here comes Lola. Hey, baby girl. Hi, have you had your brekkie? Did you eat your brekkie? I'll show you guys Lola. So there she goes. Morning, gorgeous. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but the cinema. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, the cinema in Inverness has got milkshakes and they're like this big. Yes, I know a lot like this. Yeah, literally that big. And it was the best milkshake I've ever tasted. Declan got one to watch the film and I was torn whether to get one, but the flavour I wanted, they ran out and he got like whatever he got. And I was like, oh, I'll just try yours thinking I wouldn't like it. And I was obsessed with it. I was obsessed with it. Um, so I made him get me one when we left and I've just been obsessed thinking about it ever since so we're gonna go and get a milkshake in Inverness and then tonight I'm going to Scribbles for tea in which I'm gonna get another milkshake because I like their milkshakes and I think I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna get spaghetti but then again the last time I was there was with Declan, his mum and sister and they all got truffle fries or something um but it wasn't like I don't really know it was like truffle shavings as opposed to like truffle liquid and um because I hate truffle liquid 
um, and they were so good and I want pasta and I don't feel like I can have chips and pasta I feel like that would be I'm trying to reach that without crushing Lola and um, I feel like that would be too much so I don't know what I'm gonna get but yeah anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready I'll show you what I get batch and street coffee um, I don't really know like what they'll do because it's like a coffee shop as opposed to like a restaurant if that makes sense um just now i'm just using the charlotte tilbury contour wand in light medium and i've been trying to get this in medium dark because daisy actually gave me this because she bought it and i'm um, it doesn't really show on her skin when she's tanned which is what she wants it for there you go um and i've been trying to get it um in dark and it's never ever ever in stock and i've put like um notification reminder things on like house of fraser like loads of different websites and it's never in stock so i'm gonna shut up finish the rest of my makeup because i need to leave in 10 minutes and i need to do my hair and get dressed so wish me luck happy with a new purchase <laughs> That's the chicken. So now I'm at the cinema getting that milkshake that I was telling you guys about and I'll show you it. It's unreal. It's that view cinema. I guess you can get them in all the view cinemas. Here it goes. You get a smaller one, so I got a smaller one. But yeah, it's literally nothing to rave about. It just tastes so good. Got Oreo bits on top. <laughs> Hello, vlog update. Oh. Lola, no, it's okay, come here. Shouldn't have said the trigger word, I didn't even think. Um, but yeah, hello, vlog update. Uh, it's now the next day, and I'm getting ready to go out for lunch again. Um, although I'm nervous today because I'm going to a place called, I think it's called, but I think it's called Cafe Kombucha or Cafe Kombucha, something like that. Um, but I'm nervous because I thought someone was shouting at Lola. Um, yeah, I'm nervous because it's an all vegan place, um, which isn't really my cup of tea because I don't really like very much <laughs> um i don't really like vegetables or like anything like that um, okay so i use the hydra grip primer and like it's clinging to my face so badly i'm definitely gonna give that away because that's not for my skin type my hair is just back because i'm actually way to wash some of my makeup brushes and um, i actually use fry light and fairy liquid it was my girl that does my eyebrows that told me to do this and it works really well so that's what i way to do i'm just doing the ones i like use all the time so fun first one done pretty much looks brand new compared to them i just still leave it there but yeah not too bad not too bad so i literally just like wet them in water dip them in my mixture and then like from it under the top you know like squeeze it out and all that so yeah Okay, hey, so vlog update, me and Lola are currently sitting in the car waiting for Declan because he's away into Glen Alaki Distillery to buy whiskey shock. Um, we had a Grey's board thing for breakfast. It was quite nice and different since we're both off. Oh my God, my face and skin looks absolutely awful because I washed my makeup brushes and I thought they would be dry overnight and they weren't so I literally had like a sponge to do my makeup and it looks bad I wish I hadn't even bothered wearing any um but yeah we're gonna go bowling later I think so that'll be fun <laughs> <laughs> Same. <laughs> 
so I'm just checking in because it's Prosecco day and I'm running so behind. It's like, I don't have my watch on, but it's like after half 10 and I'm supposed to be at days at half 11 and I'm running very behind. <laughs> I've got an issue, we've got an issue. Can't get the dress to zip and no one's here. I'm here and I can't get any further. So I'm literally gonna, and my dad's come in to help me. Hello to Dion, Daisy, Carla and Katie heading to our first Prosecco day at the Mansfield Hotel in Scotland. We are buzzing, they said. One thing I will say before I finish this vlog off somebody actually helped me with the state of this room it's actually embarrassing i'm like i do not even want to tackle it tonight so i'm gonna literally shut the door and deal with it tomorrow <laughs> now this is not the most flattering of angles but oh well i was just at the druthy cobbler for tea with my mum and dad and our friends Rob and Rebecca. Um, I'm just taking off my makeup with the Tropic Smoothing Cleanser. It's almost done. I feel I feel like it's like here. Um, I really like it. I've been swapping between that and the micellar water. Is that how you say it? Um, yeah, so I just thought I'd update the vlog. Um, Prosecco day yesterday was really good. I was hyped up for it. It was really good and, and then I went to the Muckle which is like our local weather spoons and then we went back to Daisy's for a bit and then we went back up to Joe's which is like the nightclub and then I had to leave early because when we're on the dance floor some idiot threw a glass as in like not at me before I say this, but through a glass on the dance floor and it hit me in the head, like right here. And literally I felt so dizzy and thought I was gonna be sick. And I was like, oh, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Sat down for a bit and I was like, no, let's just get another drink and I'll be fine. And I just felt like worse. And then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go. And like, as I was waiting for a taxi, like the lump on my head went, honestly massive like so big so i ended up going up to the hospital to get it checked which probably was kind of stupid because like what were they gonna do but i don't know i've been watching too much Grey's anatomy i was paranoid about a head injury um but yeah i was fine they were like oh, i'll just take a couple of days for the swelling to go down etc um but yeah so that was ended my night sooner than planned um I'm gonna hold this up, it's better. Oh um, yeah, that ended my night kind of sooner than planned, which was a bit annoying. And then today, Sunday, we've done nothing other than like literally sit in bed. Um, like I said, I went to the juicy, it was amazing, so, so, so good. I'll put in clips of it because I took photos, videos, obviously. And I um, just went to Foggy's bar to buy tickets for the Halloween event, which is exciting. And I'm just like kind of sorting myself out, getting ready. And Jack and I are gonna watch Sex Education because season three is out, which I'm buzzing about. Um, I'm literally just wearing like this little crop top, which is really nice, but I've spilled on it already. Literally just got it like today. Well, yeah, it came in the post yesterday. Um, but I think I'm gonna round off this vlog because there's like only one weekend left in September and I'm not doing anything. Um, and I'm not do. I've got two weekends of like doing nothing. And then I'm back to like doing stuff. So I'll probably vlog then. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I am not sure how it's going to be. I don't know if it's just going to be a mess of like random clips. I don't think I've spoken and explained things to you very much. 
for this video so I apologize in advance and I'm going to stop talking because a lot is staring at me and um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next one bye